less or just a few minutes and we will start with Michael. He will tell us about turning tickle scripts into Python. Well, I might ask why <laughs> would I do that, but let's see what <laughs> Michael says about that. Okay, yes, yeah, several of you have already wondered why would you want to do that. So here's the use case. You have a terrific tickle application, it's elegant, it works, and you, the pointy-haired boss comes to you and says, I want Python. And you say, you want Python? I will give you Python. <laughs> Fortunately, we can turn any tickle script of any size into a valid Python script in just two minutes. There's a tool. Here's a one-line example. Hello world. It runs. So what's, what support is available? Let's list the Python directory. Okay, there's Python. And there's a directory called TCL. Let's drill down. There's TCL 8.6. There's TK 8.6. We're familiar with these things. So why does Python ship tickle? Because of TK, which Python provides through its TK inter interface package. Since it does ship with Tickle, we'll write a Python wrapper. This is kind of long. There's a shorter version at the end. Basically, we import TK inter. We read the file. It doesn't have to have the revealing TCL file extension. Then we'll run it. If it's a wish application, we have to start the main loop. This isn't a wish application, so we won't be doing that. It runs. Python runs, Tickle runs. Success, a valid Python script equivalent to the Tickle script in order one rewrite time. <laughs> so why did I do this? To have fun, to encourage others to have fun, to get the word out that Tickle is fun, and to expand Team Tickle, which is now written like this. <laughs> Here's some buzzwords to put in YouTube, help people find this video. Here, oh, the requirements changed. We need 2.7. We need Python 2. Well, that works too. Python 2, Python 3. You just have to deal with the Python change of syntax. Thank you. Well, 